Welcome back. It's your boy CYB brought to you by Gospel Beats. Alright, this is part two of my first video on certified cloud practitioner exam study guide, personal study guide. I recently passed the exam about two weeks ago, so while the information is still fresh in my head, I decided to do a follow-up video in a question style format and go over some tips that I learned by taking the exam twice because I actually failed the first time around. So you can know the material, but the way they word the question sometimes can trip you up. Like for instance, um, they may use a word in a question that you may not know the meaning to. So you may not know exactly what they're asking and you may get the question wrong if you don't fully understand it. So that's why I decided to do a question style type this time. And my disclaimer is again, these are my personal study notes I made to prepare for the AWS Cloud Practitioner exam. I can't guarantee all the information is 100% correct. Please do not use this video as your only source to prepare for the exam. 90% of this content from the source is from the Amazon AWS website. Also, these questions are created by me. They are not on the exam. I just basically created these questions from the, my previous PowerPoint. So let's get into it. So I'm going to move pretty fast. So I have about 35 questions. So let's do it. What is AWS responsible for in the responsibility model? Select two. Cus A, customer data. B, operating system. C, firewall. D, heating and cooling of data center, E, network, F, storage. <clears throat> Answer, D, heating and cooling, cooling of data center, F, storage, which is not necessarily a cloud trail feature. A, securely and reliability handles a broad set of big data. B, government compliance and risk auditing. C, log, monitor, retain, record, events across AWS. D, CloudWatch can use this information to take action. Answer, A, security and reliability, reliability handles a broad set of big data. Total cost of ownership consists of the following. Select two, A, TCO calculator. B, based on the popularity of, I believe it's Jupiter Notebook. C, let you dive deeper into your costs and usage data to identify trends, pinpoint cost drivers, and detect anomalies. D, pay as you go model. E, offers fully managed Redis and mem memcache. Answer, A, TCO calculator. D, pay as you go model. Which is, excuse me, not necessarily a cost explore feature. A, can be created and tracked from the AWS budget's dashboard. B, easy to use interface, visualize, understand, manage costs and usage over time. C, dive deeper in cost uses, data, identify trends, pinpoint cost drivers, detect anonymous, D, future forecasting. A, can be created and tracked from the AWS budget dashboard which is not a feature of trusted advisor. A, customized cloud expert, delayed time software. B, it will inspect your AWS environment for performance. C, it will inspect your AWS environment for reliability. D, it will inspect your AWS environment for security. Answer, A, it's a real time software, not a delayed time. That was a tricky one. Which is not a necessarily a feature of consolidated billing. A, one bill, you get one bill for your for multiple accounts. B, easy tracking, you can track the changes or charges across multiple accounts. C, combined usage, you can combine the usage across all accounts in the organization. D, auto scaling, ensure, ensures that your application is able to receive traffic. Answer, D, auto scaling ensures that your application is able to receive traffic. It's not 
a consolidated billing feature, which is a managed distributed denial of service, DDoS protection service that safeguards applications running on AWS. A, AWS Shield. B, CloudFront. C, Security Group. D, CloudTrail. Answer, A, AWS Shield, which acts as a firewall that controls traffic allowed to reach one or more instances. A, DDoS response team. B, security group. C, cloud front. D, edge location. Answer, B, security group, which is not true about penetration testing. A, get permission from AWS first. B, it can be done on your infrastructure only. C, you must be logged into AWS portal using the root credentials. D, you do not have to request permission if you are testing in your own AWS VPC environment. Answer, D, you do not have to request permission if you are testing in your, your own AWS VPC environment, which is not a feature of Amazon Inspector. A, automated security assessment service that improves security and compliance of applications deployed. B, automatically accesses applications for exposure, vulnerabilities, and deviations from, from best practices. C, is an API-driven service that analyzes network configurations in your AWS account. D, manage subnet in your piece v, in your VPC to protect against incoming traffic requests. Answer D. Manage subnet in your VPC to protect against incoming traffic requests. It's not a Amazon inspector feature. True or false? An AM role is similar to a user in that it is an AWS identity with permission policies that determine what the identity can and cannot do in AWS. True. Which is non which is a non-relational database? A RDS, B DynamoDB, C MySQL, D Aurora. Answer B DynamoDB. Which is infrequently accessed data archives? A Glacier, B S3, C CloudFront, D CloudWatch, E Edge Location. Answer A, Glacier. Which is which instant type gives a discount up to 75% compared to on-demand instance pricing? A, reserve instance, B, spot instance, C, dedicated host, D, on-demand. Answer A, reserve instance. Which instance type give a discount up to 90% compared to on-demand? Instant pricing. I'm not going to read all the answers. Answer B, spot instances. Which instance type can be interrupted? B, spot instance. Spot instance. Which instance type cannot be interrupted? D, on demand. Which instance type can help reduce costs by allowing you to Use existing server-bound software licenses. C, dedicated host. Which is not a feature of Elastic Beanstalk? A, provisions and operates the infrastructure and manages the, the application stack platform for you so you don't have to spend the time and develop the expertise. B, automatically scale your application up and down based on your application's specific need using easily adjustable auto scaling settings. C, maintain a minimum version of an environment is always running in the cloud. D, keep the underlying platform running your application up to date with the latest patches and updates. Answer C, maintains a minimum version of an environment is always running in the back, in, in the cloud. Which best describes a feature of cloud formation? A, is available through AWS for a low fee. B, allows you to use simple text file to model and provision all the resources needed for your application. C, allows you to model a small portion of infrastructure in a text file. D, 
uses multiple files serving as multiple sources of truth for your cloud environment? Answer is B, allows you to use a simple text file to model and provision all the resources needed for your applications. Actually, it's no fee for the cloud formation and you use a single, it's a single file, but a single source of truth, not multiple. And allows you to model a small portion, actually it's the entire, um, not, not a small portion. All right, next question. Which is not a feature of, a, of Amazon Direct Connect? A, easy to set up a dedicated network connection from your premises to AWS. B, can reduce network costs, increase bandwidth, provide consistent network experience that, than internet connections. B, I mean C, can be a VPN connection. D, codifying your infrastructure, allowing you to treat your infrastructure as just code. Answer, D. Codify your infrastructure, allowing you to treat your infrastructure as just code. Which is not a feature of SQS. A. Diverting traffic to instances based on demand and least load. B. Fully managed message queuing service that enables you to decouple and scale microservices, distributed systems, and service list applications. C, you can send, store, and receive messages between software components at any volume without losing messages or requiring other services to be available. D, can send messages to and receive messages from an AWS, Amazon, SQS queue. A, diverting traffic to instances based on demand and lease load. True or false, S3 durability is 99.99999 and S3 availability is 99.99. True. True or false, AWS config service that enables you to access, audit, and evaluate the configurations of your AWS resources. Configure continuously, monitors, and record your AWS. AWS resource configurations and allow you to automate the evaluation of recorded configurations against desired configurations. True. True or false, VPC stands for Visual Private Cloud. False, Virtual Private Cloud. Which framework is not necessarily associated with EMR? Select two. A, Hadoop. B, HBase. C, Ajax, D, Flink, E, Apache Spark, F, jQuery. Answer, C, Ajax, F, jQuery. Which is not a feature of AMI? A, provides the information required to launch an instance. B, you must specify a source AMI when you launch an instance. C, you can launch multiple multiple instances with from a single AMI. D, service that securely delivers data, uh, videos, applications. D, service that securely delivers data, videos, applications. Which best suits this definition? <clears throat> this definition offers fully managed Redis and Memcache, real-time apps, gaming, ride hailing, media streaming, dating, social media stores as database cache, Message broker, Q, real-time transactions. A, snapshot, B, Amazon Elastic Cash, C, S3, D, AMI. Answer, B, Amazon Elastic Cash. Which best suits this definition? Fast, convenient delivery network, CDN, service that securely delivers data, videos, applications, and APIs to customers globally, with low latency, high transfer speeds, all within a developer-friendly environment using edge locations. A, CloudFront, B, Amazon Elastic Cash, C, AWS Marketplace, D, Autoscaling. Answer A, CloudFront. 
which is a feature of Snapshot. A, are incre incremental backups. B, can continuously monitor your AWS resources. C, can receive messages between software components at any volume. D, enables you to decouple and scale microservices. Answer A, are incremental backups. Which best suits this definition? Sales channel that makes it easy for sellers to, to offer software solutions that run on the AWS cloud. A, acceptable use policy. B, service control policies. C, AWS Marketplace. D, AWS Superstore. Answer, C, AWS Marketplace. Which definition is not correct? A, acceptable use policy describes prohibited actions. B, policy document that provides a formal statement of one or more permissions, provide, provides formal statement of permissions, resource action, effects, principles, JSON, what user can do. C, service control policies, manage your organization and restrict at the account level what services and actions the user's group roles in those accounts can do. D, PCI compliance, software that has the ability to patch itself. Answer D, PCI compliance, so the software that has the ability to patch itself. I actually just made that one up. PCI compliant is a payment card industry, data security standard, which is not associated with the AWS support plans. A, basic, B, Developer, C, Advance, D, Business, E, Enterprise, Support Concierge. Answer, A, uh, C, Advance. True or false, AWS Management Console is command line based on your local host. False, it's a web-based user interface. Okay, again, this um, concludes this tutorial. Good luck if you're taking the exam. Hope this helps. Until then, see you when I see you.